Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Bike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on May 8, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, anything else affecting humanity, natural disasters, space weather. Looking at our sun here the last 48 hours, as we did have that M3 class solar flare yesterday, having a quick look at the full extent of the event last 48 hours incoming and last 48 hours outgoing quite calm in the outgoing and definitely do have something coming around the, from the back side of the sun and this sunspot i do not believe is done and it is about to go worth facing so stay aware and prepared and i'm so happy that you are tuned in and hopefully you've hit that notification bell so you don't miss any update. A lot of people not getting notified these days. Another quick look here, close look at the M3 class solar flare as well in a negative, a little easier on the eyes. And as well, 511 angstroms here, no earth facing coronal holes to talk about. You could see some developing in equatorial there. Looking at the space prediction spiral, you can see that we are lucky. And this thing just missed us. But it didn't miss Mercury. And it didn't miss the other satellites that were in the way there. Soho, Stereo A, Parker Solar Probe. So that was quite a blast. The largest blast we've seen in quite some time. And we're lucky. Looking here at a real-time solar wind, we're still pretty calm. 313 kilometers per second right now. Solar flex, we did see a spike yesterday, as noted in a video. But no geomagnetic activity to talk about. Looking at Lasco 2, Lasco 3, full extent, the event from yesterday. Nothing major since then. Have a quick look here at our Schumann resonance for today. A power of 110, very low frequency. You can see the amplitude is black there. The quality of 11.8 in yellow and 7.9 frequency max. Frequency minimum of 7.2. That is below our minimum. Looking here for earthquakes last 24 hours. Let's start out here in North America. As we did just have a 4.4 earthquake Mina, Nevada, as well seeing earthquakes through Kansas, minor earthquakes 3.2, as well a white city, New Mexico, seeing continual earthquakes there. A couple minor rumbles through Tennessee to report as well, not noted here because they were less than a two point magnitude. So yeah, 4.4 there, Mina, Nevada, as well 3.8 here off the coast of Oregon. No major other earthquakes to talk about through California, 4.1 here in uh, Mexico, Santa Maria, as well Barbados, 4.4, that was reported last night, 4.0 today, so still seeing a lot of activity. We could see another eruption coming from Sufri, 5.1 here reported here, East Pacific Ridge. South America here, 4.8 in Peru, 4.6 Chile, 238 kilometer depth, as well, 5.1 here, South Sandwich Islands, 
4.3 Greece at 10 kilometer depth as well. A 4.2 reported in Iran today. Quiet across the end plate. Down here into Benkulu, Indonesia with a 4.4. 4.4 there, Banda C, as well the Philippines with a 4.5. And then we get to Japan. A sizable 5.2 that was reported early this morning, 76 kilometer depth. And we've seen 4.7, 4.4, 4.2, all moving northward towards Kamchatka as well. 4.5 there in Russia. Minor earthquakes through Alaska. Notable here, 3.4. Quiet through the Kermadex and Fiji region. 4.7 there, only 116 kilometer depth. The last 24 hours, the deepest was here, 231 kilometer depth in South America. So antipode to that is Japan and China. Looking at the last seven days for earthquakes, all of the red being the uh, latest and the lighter colors being the most recent. Or sorry, sizes. That's right. This is new here. The color, uh, color codes. So the red are the large earthquakes and the blue, smallest earthquakes. But that's the last seven days for earthquakes. Pretty quiet across North America. Seeing a lot of deep activity come back from southwest Ring of Fire and quite across South America, I would say, as well. So, heads up, everybody, and just have a plan. It's all about staying aware and prepared. Having a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, most recent volcanoes to update today. And stay tuned tomorrow for the Volcanic Activity Report will be coming out and will give a full count on all of the active and erupting volcanoes from around the world. Starting out here with Pacaya and Dakono, Raventador, and Semeru, Indonesia, Fuego and in Guatemala, Sangay and Ecuador, Popo, Mexico, Sabancaya and Peru, Sinabung, Indonesia, Sufri, Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Is so free, St. Vincent. A lot of storm warnings, flood warnings, era in Japan, as well in Nevados to Chilean. So that's about 12 vol uh, volcanoes getting updated today. But I know, <clears throat> excuse me, I know that there are at least 41 active and erupting right now. So stay tuned to the volcanic activity report coming up tomorrow. And right now we do have an area of interest that is forming right here off the coast of Central America. And it looks like it's going to fizzle out in the long range forecast. Still not even named a tropical depression yet. But yeah, widespread rain all across the United States and as well through Alberta today. For some reason, the satellite imagery is showing over Alberta right now. But you can see long line of moisture atmospheric river, a strong high pressure ridge in Canada, thunderstorms and severe weather already acting up through parts of Nebraska and Oklahoma and northeastward through Missouri. Having a look here, five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting out here, home base Calgary, Alberta, as yet, we've had rain, rain, rain for the past 36 hours or so. It's really nice. It should be nice and green when the sun comes out tomorrow, finally. But definitely not the spring-like conditions that we're expecting. Big, cool, high-pressure ridge is still lingering around Northwest Territories. And it's going to dry things out straight across the continent after that low-pressure center moves out of Colorado. Heads into the Gulf. Big high pressure ridge in the uh, East Pacific. It's going to ride all of the moisture northward and dry things out pretty much from uh, Vancouver southward and eastward pretty much dry for the long range forecast. 
but we did get some moisture wet much needed Ontario still got some cool temperatures lingering around there as well only chance of severe weather here is through the Gulf states and that's later in the week and it might not even be that severe big low pressure system here still affecting parts of Atlantic Canada this week Looks like it's going to drag up that big Colorado low right up the coastline. Strong high pressure ridge in the Atlantic. Low pressure center here over the United Kingdom. And as well, another one here developing over the West Indies. Interesting a track as it heads eastward and then northwestward. Interesting developing, developing low pressure system there. We'll have to see where that goes in the long range. But pretty much big low pressure system across Europe. Going to bring spring-like conditions and rain. And that high pressure ridge came from Africa. It's going to bring some really warm temperatures parts of Russia. Early warm temperatures. Big low pressure center still affecting parts of northern Russia. But starting to warm up across China and as well the West Indies. Big rain moving out of China this week. Heading into Japan. A big swath of moisture here. Thoughts and prayers to everybody that will be affected by that little system there. Watch for torrential downpours. Looking over Indonesia, parts of Malaysia today. Daily evaporation rains heavier towards Indonesia, uh, Sumatra, Jakarta. as well eastward here through Malaysia. Fiji regions overlooking Australia. High pressure ridge dominant through most of northern part of the province. Watch for moisture here to develop the east coast through Sydney up to Brisbane. This week, Wednesday into Thursday. Other than that, pretty much dry and you could get a little bit of moisture there from that low pressure center south of you which is the beast of a system that uh, yeah we've been watching for a couple days now overlooking New Zealand you've got rain here for the next what one two three days and then high pressure ridge builds in and then you've got a little bit of a break but it looks like some more moisture moving in behind from coastal regions of Australia Lots of big systems there in the Southern Hemisphere. We're going to look at that at the end here. Overlooking Hawaii and the Pacific Ocean. Big, strong, dominant high-pressure ridges. Still hanging out in the Pacific and keeping things dry all across the coast of North America. Overlooking at South America. Daily evaporation rains. Watch for heavier towards Colombia, Panama. But look at this system that develops in the Southern Hemisphere. Another big bad boy that's developing. And it just kind of roared right over the Argentina Mountains, which I don't really see. So this is a big upper level low. Getting ready to race around the hemisphere. Other than that, no major tropical systems to talk about from the Atlantic, nor from the Pacific, because it looks like that area of interest will fizzle out. I'll leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Big beast of a system here, still in the forecast. Thanks for watching today. Much love to you all. I'm glad my voice made it through the whole video. And thank you so much for all of the warm wishes and kind comments to get better. Um, I feel better. Hopefully this little froggy goes away. Big systems. These are going to bounce back to the northern hemisphere in the coming season. Mark my word. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Bye-bye.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the